What's next? I want to discuss favor declarations. Um, it's a common subject, but I, I think it's a good thing to keep going over. And I create a favor declaration every day. It's, I create it off the top of my head. Sometimes, or most times, I do it quietly and I say it multiple times during the day. But the first time of the day when I do my relaxing walk, I try to do about a half an hour walk a day and state my favor declaration when no other humans are around so I don't have to be embarrassed talking to myself. So I start with a, a baseline because I suffer from, or I've actually come to control of my anxiety, but stress and anxiety is always a looming issue for me. So I establish a baseline. I am in total control of my reality. I choose to take control of my reality. I am totally relaxed and I will remain relaxed for the next 24 hours. I am totally at peace and I will remain at peace for the next 24 hours. Everything I place my hand upon succeeds. Every project I start moves towards a positive result. So that way I've established that my day will be successful and will remain successful for the next 24 hours. And since I say this declaration multiple times in a day, at least when I start in the 24 hour, well, basically when I start in the morning, I obviously, I obviously state that, hey, I'm successful and I will remain successful for the next 24 hours and I'm good. So I establish my baseline. Boom. And then moving from there, I go, I bring in, since now I'm in control, I bring in other energies. Now, this debate of whether you should be praying to other deities or God or Jesus or anything, even Gaia, I don't judge anyone. And I've gone back and forth on the idea that you don't want, you want to remain in yourself. You are in power. You don't need to surrender your power to any other be a deity. But I don't see it like that. I've established that I am in control of my life. And now I choose to work with God, Jesus, or other deities sort of thing. So this is open to anyone to use, no matter what your religious, religious background is. And even if you're atheist, it still works because you're taking control of your own life. Whether you believe in energies or not, you're still giving yourself, giving yourself a positive mind frame. So let's move into favor. I th uh, R. Wayne Steiger and his group created a favor declaration. And favor is just a positive energy. Favor walks with me as I come in. Favor walks with me as I go out. Favor accompanies me in the city. Favor accompanies me in the country. Everyone with whom I interact sees me with great favor. Favor ensures all my projects will come out successfully. You know, those kind of things where you help, when you kind of already established previously that you are in power, secondarily you work with another power to create positive energy. Uh, one thing is, uh, there is a lot, and unfortunately I've come to a blank, which is where I should write down my notes. And it seems like I'm most more successful when I am free my mind off with no plan statements, where you, you don't want to recite this declaration from memory. You need to make it your own. You need to find things in your life that you want to be successful with, and then kind of incorporate them into it and then you daily say it you know establish in the morning and you continue saying it several times a day and I try to do it during my each of my walks and if there are people around I say it in my head especially honestly when I am in 
I try to shop at l the least amount possible. I do have social anxiety and good or bad, the social distancing, one part of me is pleased as punch, loves this to, you know, require us to shop as least as possible, as less as possible, to keep six feet away from each other, wear masks. I fully engage in this. The other part of me is slowly falling apart because as a human being, we need social interaction. But that part of me is not exercising. And although the social anxiety part of myself is happy, the social part of myself is is having issues. And I am it's like pulling down inside myself. I, it's hard to explain that I'm like on two edges of the same sword and I, I've always balanced social anxiety versus social interactions, you know, and forcing myself to, you know, to have interactions with people, you know, try to use compassionate dialogue. That's another thing is that when you talk with other people, when you have social anxiety, Sometimes you speak when you really don't need to speak, just so you can you want, you want to appear social, but in the end you just appear ridiculous. So, as a social person with social anxiety, I learned that listening to them, truly listening, and not waiting to speak, and let them speak, and even as if there's a, a a lull in the conversation, an uncomfortable part of the conversation because no one's speaking. If there's nothing to say, you don't have to say anything. And a personal social anxiety, when I free myself of not having to say anything, it frees me. But I'm not exercising that right now because of the social distancing thing. So I, I keep reciting to myself that every communication, whether it be verbal, visual, body language, will be successful. And then I try to get myself into more conversations online um, I, although I do work from home, I do interact with people through Zoom meetings and um, there's, a, there's a Google program, I mean not Google, um, Microsoft program. And with that, I do a little bit of social inter interaction, but again, I'm working from home, so there's really not much to say. So, you know, you have to exercise all parts of your, of your, of your, mind and when other part when one part is being happy and successful at the social district you know interaction to social distancing you have to ex exercise the social part of yourself and uh, but yeah when, whenever I'm shopping I, I kind of meander a little bit but whenever I'm shopping and I have to interact with people and I get that because I'm not interacting as much when I am interacting, when I'm out shopping in society, I, my social anxiety gets up and wants to, you know, get the heck out of there. And which is when I say to myself, I am totally relaxed, I am totally calm, I am totally at peace, and I will remain at peace. At this point, I say, for the next hour, for the next half an hour, whoever I think I'm going to spend in the store, to kind of empower it, to strengthen it. Because, yes, I have the baseline 24 hours, but let's strengthen it, you know, put it high power for the next half an hour to an hour. But these are my ideas and how to, you know, everyone developing their own declaration of, of positive things that they can say to themselves. And no matter what your religious background, you can't, it's not wrong, it's yours. And you're working with your own powers, your own gods, your own beliefs, it's all yours. So everyone should develop their own declaration and I welcome anyone to just write down their declaration in the comments, just to, you know, camaraderie. So we're all supporting each other and we're all getting ideas from each other because if you hear someone else's declaration, maybe you can get more information about what would help improve your own. But again, these are just my ideas, and yours can be different, and we can discuss it. 
as friends, as comrades, or as just good quality, healthy people. What's next?